We are talking about fertility today, and what we have right here is the mothership, probably in a way that you have never seen it because we have one of the hip bones is actually hidden, and there are some parts and pieces of this that are cross-sectioned or hidden, so we can kind of see inside and see what is happening whenever you have intercourse and you're trying to get pregnant. So why is fertility so hard? We're going to talk about this just from the male side of things really quick. So you have your your sperm shooter, your inseminator that is entering into the vagina and all this stuff here at the bottom. Um, this is actually really, really interesting. So this is the clitoris in its entirety, as well as the hood on either side. This is the uh, bulb of the vestibule um, there that's kind of highlighted. And this here is actually the body of the clitoris. So then, and then you have the outside genital genitalia there. But what's happening is you have the insemination stick, the penis. Um, sometimes TikTok bans my words. So I've tried using lots of different ways to describe this now. Um, entering into here and you have ejaculation at some point in that vaginal canal. And those sperm have to swim. Now, you have to imagine that the sperm, male sperm, is probably one of the smallest cells in the body, and it has to tra transverse or traverse uh, 18 centimeters, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you put that in human perspective, if you scale the sperm up to being the size of an adult male, that's kind of terrifying. Um, it's the same as them running 30 kilometers or 19 miles, and they move at a speed that would put them put most human runners to shame. It's 25 miles per hour um, that they are able to swim. They are incredibly agile and fast, the fastest moving cell in the entire body. But there's just a massive distance that they have to traverse in order to get up into the fallopian tube because the fallopian tube is generally where the egg is found and it gets fertilized. Okay, so this is just a really basic overview of the beginning of fertility and getting pregnant. If you have questions, you know what to do.